what's going on youtubers so i got a little package today this is from trick-or-treat studios it's basically the batteries from the chucky movie the first movie when uh, if you remember they looked to see if the batteries were inside chucky and they were not they were out so this is just a little prop to go with my chucky doll so these look and feel just like real batteries so i'm not sure if they actually are i don't think they are but they're size d batteries same size and a good guy's logo you can see alkaline good guys battery size d and on the back it just talks about trick-or-treat studios you know and if you were to purchase this like at a halloween store but basically i'm just going to be displaying these with my chucky doll so here is my chucky and i got lots of props from the first movie you know i got this pendant the little doll him holding the actual knife he used against that doll in the scene it's from the first movie so i might just display the batteries right behind him actually like so you know just underneath his legs you know good guys has that classic chucky doll color i was even thinking of potentially getting one of the empty boxes and displaying it right here i'm not sure if it will fit i would need to measure it but I could also display it at an angle, you know, like Chucky escaped from the box. There's batteries and everything, and he's right here in my horror collection. So just a little, you know, tiny prop added today. I uh, ordered this for, I think, like $15 on, like, Amazon.com. Nothing spectacular, but it's a cool little add-on for a Chucky. You know, if you're a big Chucky fan and you want a little prop to add with them, this is a great little option made by Trick or Treat Studios. They do lots of different props. They actually have a lot of other Chucky props like that pendant and the knife and whatnot. So, yeah, that's just a little prop I wanted to show you guys. I've actually made a few changes or adjustments I wanted to show you guys as well. So let me show you that. So I did end up removing the alien and predator here. Instead, I moved Logan right there with little Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man set up. Over here in the hallway is actually, you know, I got the alien bus there, and I just put the alien right here for now. And it'll probably stay there, or I could put it up here where Ash is at, you know. But that is where it's at. And let me show you what's going on here in the movie statue room. So a few adjustments were made. So I gotta show you guys this. So first off, I moved Balrog right there. And let me get my lighting turned on so you can see this better. So I put Balrog underneath Smog. I actually think those two display extremely well together. because they look almost roughly to scale as well. You know, and I got the bust up there of both. But, and then I moved the Hobbit section 1-6 right there and the Jurassic Park Raptor right there above Caesar. You have plenty of space for both in the 1-6 Hobbit section right there. I will eventually be getting some more legs to display that slightly higher up. I need to go to Ikea, but they're currently closed due to the COVID-19 situation. As soon as they're open, I'm going to go pick me up a Stuba shelf a glass door for the Michael Myers shelf and two legs so I can raise this. So it's a little bit higher up off the ground, raise the alien, you know, by four inches. So that's that. And over here, I ended up putting my predator. So I did try doing the predator and the alien right here, but I decided I didn't want to do another alien versus predator setup. I already have that out in my theater room you know i got wolf predator who is from the alien vs predator movie and then the dog alien who's technically from aliens 3 but i wanted to do just a predator setup now i could technically get dutch if i wanted to but i don't really care for that figure too much plus it's way overpriced for the quality you know it goes for 700 to a thousand dollars but it's only a 350 dollars statue in my opinion but here is the jungle hunter predator by sideshow collectibles one four scale next to the one-to-one -one fugitive predator bust and i actually think they do go very well together you know because the fugitive predator does have a more like classic type look the one big difference i noticed in like the paint job is this is a black and a brown where this is a black and a red look 
you know, and then obviously the dreads, this is silver, not gold. Obviously the costume is overall different. You know, there's some similarities, but I, I actually do prefer this armor, the newer look. I'm a, I'm more of a fan of newer designs than the classic looks. That's why with like the X-Men line, I hate when they do the diaper look, you know, like for Magneto, I, this is my favorite Magneto because it doesn't have the diaper look. I hate that. Same with Wolverine, no diaper look. So I much prefer a newer classic design and I love how Sideshow always does their takes on that. And I love this new Fugitive Predator bust. So right now I have it displayed with the mask off, but the mask is right there. I really wish I had some sort of stand. I was thinking if I could somehow buy a stand, I could display the stand like right there, move that a little to the left and display the stand, the mask right there. Although I really like the mask displayed on the bust as well. I think it looks really good. Uh, let me actually uh, do that real quickly so you guys can see it. It's actually quite easy to do this. Someone even asked to see. So here is the underside, it's felt pads. And actually you simply, it's a very strong magnet and you just do it like that, boom. See how easy that is? Turn on the lighting, lighting. So check that out now. There's no light ups on the Sideshow one, unfortunately, I wish there was, but you can just see how sick looking that bust is. It really is awesome, I love it. And those light ups are super cool. You know, you have the two eyes, the two little red dots, plus that laser on the freaking shoulder cannon thing is super bright. Three very bright lights. Let me actually show you with the lights off so you can see what I'm talking about. Also, check this out. I think this actually looks really cool. Let me show this to you, though. So you can see that if you wanted it truly dark... then have to turn the lighting off. I thought I had it in my pocket. Guess not, but anyways, there it is. There you can just see how much light that's shining. That laser, that thing's crazy. It's shining all the way over here. So pretty freaking cool if you ask me. So I really like the mask on, to be honest. I think this mask is so cool. So there it is. Uh, quick little video for you guys to show you a few things I've done today. I'm still waiting on Orgrim Doomhammer, uh, who will be coming hopefully real soon. Just waiting on that. Yeah, you can see you just press the two buttons to get that done. Yeah, Orgrim Doomhammer is still in customs. I'm, I'm sure he'll be here next week. You know, it's already been over a week in customs. So that should be here real soon. And I do have four other statues in transit from China, all just taking forever. I still have to find a spot for Bruce Lee. That guy's always so hard to figure out. I mean, I love Bruce Lee, but I, I can never find a good spot for him. He just doesn't fit really anywhere else. But yeah, that's it though, folks. Let me know your thoughts on some of these subtle adjustments I made. I, I do think I like the Jungle Hunter here, just Jungle Hunter next to the bust. I think it looks really good. So this now gives me a reason not to buy the one-fourth version of him. I Frankly, I don't want to spend $1,600 on another one-fourth Predator. I've spent enough money. So I, I think I'll just keep it like this. I think it does look really great. And you got the two designs uh, with somewhat similarities. You know, and it is the sequel, technically, this is the sequel to that movie. So it definitely fits and looks great in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.